Hey guys, so I made these toe hitches, you guys know what they look like. So I'm going to be showing you guys the process on how I do them. So this is a finished process. This is a finished one, what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's fresh off the printer. And this is what it looks like when it's in between a paint session. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I paint them, how I do that, how I peel off the support from my print. And then uh, I'll be showing you guys uh, how I made it on cat on the cat software. Alright guys, I just want to show you guys what these look like before they all get shipped out. Thank you everybody for you guys' support. Um, yeah, I got like 9, 10, 10 of these orders in because of you guys. Thank you everybody. Alright, so I'm going to start painting it. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. She's using a regular Sharpie marker, or a paint marker. Alright, so I'm on Fusion 360 now. Um, now I'm going to create a plane. I'm going to create a box right now for the tow hitch. I know it's two inches wide. So, just watch me do that. So, now I'm going to extrude it out to three inches and 400 something alright so the reason I'm doing all these measurements is because I pre-measured everything before I came here so I have a good idea where everything's gonna go so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add a shell give it about what, 0.2 I don't know Alright, that'll work. Alright, let's just give this a nice chamfer around the, the edges. So I'm going to do them on all four edges, about 0 0.0625 inches thick. Yeah, I think that looks fine right there. I'll keep that. Alright, so now I'm going to do, I need to add a hole for the hitch lock to go in. So I'm just going to make a center line. Uh, actually, that right there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Make another line. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. I know from the back of the hitch to the center of the hole is 0.6631. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Just keep messing up. <laughs> Alright, so. So from the back of the hitch to the center of the hole is 0.663. So now I'm just going to create a circle. And I'm going to make the diameter 0.675. But I think I accidentally put 0.75. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to I'm just verifying right here.
So, what does it say? 0.675. Alright, so I'm just going to change this to 0.675. Alright, so this is pretty much how I made the hitch. It wasn't too bad, it was pretty easy. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to extrude the holes out symmetrically so it clears it. Alright, so I got a hole going through both ends of the hitch. So let's give this hole a little chamfer as well. So I'm just give it a quick chamfer. Alright. So that'll be it for the hitch. Boom, there it is. Alright, so now I'm gonna import my design that I have already created. It's a pilot wheel. So I'm just what I need to do from here, I need to split the pilot wheel from the base. So you're gonna watch me kinda split the pilot wheel from the base. Alright, so I need to create a splitting line. So I'm just going to make a line between the pilot wheel and the base. And I'm going to tell the computer that my splitting edge line is here. So I'll just make my line right about there. Plus or minus, whatever. Straight line. Now I'm just going to make sure it intersects with the pilot wheel. See, that's why I have to make sure it intersects. It gave me a little error. So, I'm just going to select the entire body, create my edge line, and just select that splitting tool. And I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'm going to just push OK. So, there it is. I removed the body from the base. Alright, so I just unselect them. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to align this with the tow hitch. <clears throat> I'm just going to scale everything down and kind of orientate it into place. Kind of make it look proper. Look too big. <laughs> Alright, so I got that scaled down to size. Now I'm just going to move it. Or actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a phase. And I'm going to fill this hole. So there's not a gap right there. So just select from that corner to this corner. Alright. Now I'm just going to extrude that out. Out that whole rectangle or square, uh, I'll probably go down about 0.3 or 0.2. Just join that just so everything's combined. All right, so now we got our hole filled. And now I'm just going to select the bodies. 
going to select the pilot wheel. And now just kind of fidget with it. Boom, just rotate it 90. Just kind of move that center in the center of the toe hitch. Just a little bit over more. Alright, that looks pretty good, huh? You just make the pilot wheel just a tad bit bigger. But like it was too small. Alright, so now I need to fix everything all over again real quick. Everything got off center. So I'm just going to go ahead and center this again. And that should be it for as far as making the pilot wheel. Thank you guys for taking you guys' time to watch this video. Um, and thank you for everybody that ordered one and supported me. Thank you so much. So, hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram. And there it is. There's the pilot wheel.